Hi everybody, Aaron Blaze here and welcome to another episode of Aaron's Art Tips. Number 10. Okay, so this week, I'm, I've just returned back from an amazing trip I, I took last week. Uh, I went to Wyoming, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, just outside Grand Teton National Park with my father. Uh, we went out to go photograph wildlife, and it was just absolutely amazing. I mean, from just from a father-son standpoint, we had a great time. We never really had a chance to do that before. My father had never been to that part of the country, so it was really cool for me to be able to share it with him because I've been there so many times. But the wildlife we saw was just absolutely incredible. We saw so much. I mean, we saw um, moose, elk, trumpeter swans, bighorn sheep, mule deer. I mean, the list just goes on and on. We got so many great photos. Um, it was just, it's such an amazing place to go. And I really recommend that, you know, if you've never been there, to, to really check it out. There's great art there. There's great just country I mean it's just it's absolutely beautiful so I, re I really recommend it um, but since coming back I've been really jazzed to paint and, and uh, do some wildlife work and so um, I've done a few digital pieces and uh, uh, and kind of gearing up to see what I might want to do on canvas um, I want to show you a couple of these because um, uh, here's a sketch of this uh, female moose that I did um, and it's uh, they're just they're amazing animals but what I what I want what I thought I'd do today is just do a real simple tip on um, creating fur how do I do fur textures in Photoshop here's another one if you look um, at this moose you can see all the fur that I created some of its painted but some of it uses this technique that I have and I want to go ahead and show that to you so why don't we just go ahead and get started all right Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create the brush that's going to go ahead and uh, create all those fur textures. So um, let's go ahead and, and create a document. So go up to File, New, and uh, let's, I'm going to make it, uh, let's say, 8 inches by 8 inches, and let's make it uh, 150 dpi. Okay, and we'll wait for that to come up. Oh, it came up over on the other screen. So here we go. So we got a new document. We're going to create a brush. Creating a brush is very easy, it's, and, uh, and I recommend experimenting with it. You can have a lot of fun creating brushes, adjusting them, and that sort of thing. So when you, to, to do that, you create the, the document like I just have, and I'm going to go up and grab a brush. I'm going to grab uh, this one here, and I'm checking the sizes. I want to see what size I want to make. There we go. And I'm going to make the, my color black because brushes are only recognized in black and white. So you don't need to worry about doing any color. So we're going to create fur. So I'm, watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go dot, dot, dot. I'm just creating dots on the screen here. All right. So there I've got a few dots. Okay. Now we're going to go up to edit. Come down and go to define brush preset. And let's call this our hair brush. Okay. And now you'll see I've got this giant brush that I can move around. Okay. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that because we don't need it anymore. We've already created our brush. And let's go ahead and create a, uh, a new document. Uh, let's make this one, uh, uh, we'll just stay with 8x8, but let's go 300 dpi just to get a little more detail. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tone it. So I go over and grab my ink dropper. Let's make it a mid-gray. I'm going to grab my bucket and fill. Okay. Now, this is where it gets kind of fun. So let's go up to our paintbrush. And I'm going to grab, I like this brush here. I, don't, I can't remember if it's, this is a standard brush or if this is one that I made. But anyway, uh, this is one I've got here. I like it. I like it a lot. And we're going to come over here. I'm just going to grab some brown because we're going to simulate fur. I'm not really in a drawn animal, but I'm going to uh, 
just kind of paint on the on the canvas. So I'm going to create a new layer, work over the background, and I'm just going to isn't that a nice chalky texture? I love that. I love this brush. But anyway, I'm going to just paint in here, and let's go maybe a little darker. We'll just vary up the vary up the uh, some of the values in here. Okay, and then maybe along the edge we want it nice and and uh, lighter in color. We'll go up along here and get some nice lighter color in there. And maybe it even goes even brighter right up along here. Okay. So this is where we create the fur. So here we've got some varying values and temperatures and colors and that sort of thing, but it doesn't really look like fur. And this is how I, this, it's, a, it's a big cheat in Photoshop, but it's something I discovered a while back. So go to your smear tool which is right over here. It looks like a little finger to smear in the, the canvas. Click on that. And let's go to the brush that we just created. This one right here. Now it's that's too big. It's 610 pixels. Let's drop it down. Dropped it down to about 80 pixels. And I've got the strength at 55%. Let's just experiment. Now watch. We'll go uh, to our colors and look at that. You can start. I'm going to blow this up a little bit so you can see it a little better. I'm going to increase the strength a little bit. And all I'm doing is with these pixelated colors, I'm just brushing across, play with the strength. Look at that, We're creating fur, guys. And this is, it's so simple. I'm sure some of you already know this technique, but it's, it's, it's uh, when you're trying to create, especially when you're doing creature design and that sort of thing, um, it's a great shortcut. And sometimes it takes a little bit to catch up, but you can see, look at all that fur that I've created just by creating this smudge tool. Okay, I'm going to drop the size down a little bit. And you can even, you know, look at, you can, you can blend a little bit and make it a little messier if you want. Let me blow that up a little more so you can see it a little better. Look at that. See? You can make it soft and just work it. And then, you know, if you want to work over the top of that, you create a new layer. Go back to your paintbrush and I've got several different brushes that I use, but um, I'm going to drop that size down a little bit. And let's say I want, you know, I just want to pick up a few, a few details in here. So it feels a little more organic. See there? And that's how I create fur in Photoshop. It's very simple. Very, very simple. It's a lot of fun. Experiment with it. That's the one thing I really recommend. You know, get into Photoshop if you're if uh, you're new to it and just play around. Just experiment, see what you can find, go into your tools. And, and this is how I discovered some of these little tricks. Um, so go off and try it. Have some fun with it. Uh, also, I want to remind all of you to uh, go check out Wacom's website. That's W-A-C-O-M. Um, you guys have heard me talk about them all the time. It's the equipment that I use. I use a Cintiq HD 24 inch. Um, and, uh, I, I really love the, the products and that's, I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to promote them as much as I can. Cause I just really, I can't do without it. And so it's a great, great product. Once again, it's W A C O M.com. Go check them out. Check out the products. Um, if you want to see more of my work, see more of my tutorials, go to creature art teacher Dot com. That's my website. It's the art of Aaron Blaze. It's creatureartteacher.com. And there you can find tutorials on wildlife painting in Photoshop, creating clouds, creating water. Uh, you'll find some animation tutorials, and I'm going to be adding a few more of those later on. I've got a tutorial on drawing elephants. So there's all kinds of fun stuff on there. Go check it out. Or you can just look at the gallery and all the pretty pictures. But anyway, a nice short and sweet uh, tutorial this week. And I hope you got something out of it. Go out and explore uh, Photoshop. Have some fun with it. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.